So the sad part about me making $6,000 on Etsy is that I literally made it in one week or two, but as soon as I made it, this is when I actually just got banned right here. So as you can see, my whole account is literally banned. But like, if you can just imagine bro, like, like $6,000, let's say I made it in two weeks. So there's like four weeks in every month. So you could just say uh, 6,000 times two, that's like $12,000. So you could be making like $12,000 in just every month on Etsy without having to run any ads, without having to make a website and all that stuff. This is why this is so freaking crazy. Like I wish I can go back to Etsy, but I can't. And I'm gonna show you exactly why like I got banned in this video and I'm going to show you exactly also how to run a dropshipping store on Etsy where you can do it legally like within Etsy's terms and service so that inshallah you can start making at least $1,000 a week because trust me like on Etsy it's so doable and you remember how TikTok organic back in 2019 was so crazy like Etsy is literally right now TikTok organic when it was back in 2019 so whenever you see me in this room right here you know it's going to be a very juicy video but just so you know I'm in this room right now because like these past few days I've been very sick so I've been just kind of like being alone and just in my own world so so I can just focus on the work that I need to do while being sick at the same time. <laughs> but like, trust me, this video right here is gonna be a very juicy video. So make sure you take notes and make sure you take action after you finish this video. Also, a lot of you guys have been telling me that you have been actually getting results just from the two Etsy videos I made on this channel. So I wanted to make like an entire detailed video on how to actually do Etsy and how to also not get banned on Etsy because I've, I've went through that and it's so annoying. But when you get it to work, like trust me, bro, I think you're really gonna thank me after this video. Now, if you're gonna be dropshipping on Etsy, like selling a physical product, the first thing you wanna do is obviously you wanna pick a niche. You don't want to just come in selling like general store, selling so many different products. You want to just come and actually just pick a niche. So you would go on Etsy and you would go on Etsy in incognito mode. So it's like a private mode where it doesn't know your history, doesn't know your cookies and all that stuff. So that when you go on it, like this is the Etsy page that everyone that goes on Etsy for the first time would see. Now, the reason why you want to do this is because you want to basically browse around. You want to just see like everything in here. What's actually selling? What's like the thing that's right now trending? And you just want to like, you just want to do product research on the platform itself. You don't want to go on like, like for example, a product research tool that Shopify users use, and then you, you do product research that way. You don't want to do that because when you do that, some products don't actually work on Etsy. Like not every product works on Etsy and that's what you need to understand. So what I would first do is you see all these things right here. So like jewelry and accessories, clothing and shoes, home and living. Like I would literally go here and I would try to like look at every single thing. So for example, let's just say I'm here and I'm gonna go to, for example, uh, wall decor, which is gonna be looking at decor. Just get an idea of what's actually working on Etsy. So you see, for example, like these neon lights, uh, these more custom neon lights and all that stuff. So you just want to keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. For example, let's just say I'm going to click on this website right here or this listing right here. And I want to see like what, how many sales they're getting, how many, how many products they have on their site. So this is their site right here. So I'm just going to click on it right here. And as you can see here, like this site right here, it's, it's literally an entire site or an entire store just selling neon lights. And what's so crazy here, like this right here, by the way, nothing in this video is scripted, but what's so crazy here is that as soon as I see this, I see 26,000 sales, which is crazy. But then I'm like, I go down and I see only 50 listings. Like, bro, this, this, this store right here literally just made 26,000 sales just from 50 listings. What I would usually do, like I would just scroll down and I just want to see like exactly what the heck are these people selling? And then what I would also do is I would go on the reviews and I would try to go on like the last reviews. Like I want to go on the very, very last review just because I want to see like when did they actually start selling? So you could say 2021 is when they started selling. So you could say like they've been around for two years, let's just say. I know it's three years, but like, let's just say it's two years. What I would do, I would go up all the way and then I would see like, I'm seeing a trend, which is like $25, $25, $25. I'm just giving you my thought process on how I used to do product research that got me to at least $12,000 projected monthly. You see, I was like all $25, then I would go up. So 25, 26,000 sales. So I would just pull out the calculator. So I would do $25 times 26,000. And that would give you uh, 650,000, which is crazy. And let's just say I'm gonna take this and divide it by two because we could say that they started in 2021 or let's just say three. So divided by three, like this store right here literally has been making $216,000 in revenue every single year. My margins on Etsy, they were like around 30% because you're not really gonna be running ads. So I'm just gonna do times uh, 30%. So you could say like they've been making $65,000 a year in profit every single year for the past three years. So since 2021, 2022, and 2023 so far. But then I'm like, wait, wait, wait. So it was it was around 600,000. So I'm just gonna do it divided by two because we did say that they started in 2021 and 2023 just recently started. So, so far they've made $300,000 on these past two years. So once again, you would do times 30% because that's the margins on, usually on Etsy. So they've made $90,000 just on Etsy so far. By the way, like I'm just telling you right now, bro, like none, nothing here in this video has been scripted. Like I just literally found you like a winning niche. All I did basically, I was on the homepage on Etsy. I went on home and living and then I clicked on wall decor 
and I just scrolled down. Like I just wanted to see exactly like who is selling right here. And I just clicked on this door. Now the reason actually, by the way, the reason why I clicked on it is because when I first saw it, it did say it has 6,000 reviews that are positive. And then I also saw that it's an ad. So because it has this many reviews and they're running ads, this should tell you that these guys, like they know Etsy, like these people actually know Etsy because they're running ads and they have reviews and all that stuff. As opposed to, for example, this store right here, which could be good. Like this could be a store that's just starting out, but it might not be as good as this one, for example. And then when I just went on it, I could see that it has 26,000 sales and 50 like <laughs> products. And you go down all the way and you just see that the last review or the first review was on 2021. So like this is, you could say, this is when they started. This should just show you that like, this is it, bro. Like these people have made minimum, minimum $60,000 profit every single year, which if you think about it, that's like, bro, like, like people go to school just to get a degree on, on making $60,000 a year. If you're living in Canada and you're making $60,000 a year, like you could say you're comfortable. Like you're not, you're not going to be complaining unless like you're, you're in a job that is like literally sucking your soul. Then you're going to start to be complaining about the job. But for example, like what are you going to freaking do on Etsy? Like you're just working at home, bro. So this right here is a winning niche. So if you're thinking of a winning niche, this right here is a winning niche. Also, what I'm going to do in the description below, I'm going to put a link to a Google doc where I just basically mentioned the best niches that are hot right now on, on Etsy. So again, bro, you can think of me as like a retired man who just did all the work that he needs to do for whatever I'm teaching you right now. And right now he can't do it anymore. Bro, I wish I can go back to Etsy. There is a way to go back to Etsy after you've been permanently banned. You have to like have like a new identity and all that stuff. It's just so annoying. But by the way, let me just let me just show you. So if you're trying to if you're trying to not get a ban on Etsy, like this is what you do. The reason why I got a ban on Etsy is because I tried to make an account for my friend because I wanted them to start Etsy. But then what I did was that I tried to, I did it from my own computer. But what I did also is I went on thing. I just typed in sneakers. I wanted to put whatever products that, for example, they can just add on their store just because when you start an Etsy store, you have to add a product to your store. I just went on sneakers and then I was doing research and then I'm like, wait, I see a store, like for example, this one, or like for example, as you go down, it was like one of those Nike stores. So you keep going down, keep going down. Yeah, it was something like this. I think it was, yeah, this exact store actually. So I clicked on it and then I'm like, okay, like these people, they're definitely approved on Etsy. They're making money on Etsy. So I just took the, the image here. And then what I did is that I put the image and the whole product on my friend's store from my own computer. But what happened is that obviously like this product right here is copyrighted. Like no one can come and sell this product. I have no idea how these people are selling it, but I guess like they're, they're just personalizing it. So that's why like they're allowed to sell it. But that's what I did. I added this product and because it was copyrighted, my friends account, which is the one that I made for him on my computer, just got banned immediately. And as a result, like my two stores that I was running, they both got banned. And by the way, like I have, I do have another store that was making $4,000 in the same week that I made the $6,000. So you could say it was a projected like $8,000 monthly in, in revenue. So in profit, you could say that's like combined, it's like $6,000 in profit, which bro, like it's not that bad. $6,000 a month just from Etsy, where I'm literally not doing that much. It's not that bad. But anyway, so this is how you don't get banned. So let me just show you how to properly add a product. So let's just say right now, we're going to be picking a product, which is not a sneaker. So you see all these products right here. I'm not going to be picking this just because it's Nike. I don't want to be coming and selling things like Nike where I'm vulnerable and I could get banned. So for example, let's just say these people right here. So these people are here are not that bad. Like I would sell something like this. But let's just say I click on this. These people are going the extra mile where, they, where they're taking their own pictures. And that's what you want to do. But let's just say I'm going to pick a product like neon lights. So then what I would do is I would go on eBay, for example, and I would just type in something like custom neon lights. So just literally the same keyword right here, custom neon lights. And then you see, for example, these things right here, these, these products are pretty similar. So for example, you see this one right here, like it's very similar to the one that this girl is holding. Very similar. Like I think the same exact font, bro. Bro, this is the, the same exact the same exact product. This product right here, they're probably getting it from here and they just made their own pictures and all that stuff because they were scaling it. So when you're scaling it, you do want to add like your own pictures. You don't want to come and like add pictures that are not your own. What you would do is that you see how this is $40, $40 and then when you go here, this is like $70 they're selling it for. This is what you do. You come and you fulfill it from here. Now, the reason why you want to fulfill it from eBay as opposed to, for example, AliExpress or CJ is because on eBay right here, these people are shipping it directly from the US. Now, if they're shipping it directly from the US, the shipping is not going to be that long. You're going to be able to like actually provide fast shipping for your customers on Etsy and they're going to be receiving it directly from the US. So they're also going to have a proper tracking number. So this is why if you find a product that's working proper on Etsy, you would go on eBay and then you would do it from eBay. Now, I wasn't doing it from eBay. I actually had an advantage. I had my own advantage, bro. So what I was doing is, for example, let's just say I found this product right here. I would go to my own agent and I would tell them to source it for me. Now, the reason why I, I love sourcing it from my own agent is because, bro, I didn't have to like come and like work with suppliers here from, from eBay. Or for example, in the beginning, I would have to manually go and fulfill the orders and all that stuff. What I would do is I would just take all the orders I had from, from Etsy and then just send it to my agent. And then my agent would go and fulfill everything. Now, the exact agent I used is this one called Dropship Agent. Now, the reason why I pretty much picked this one is because 
the shipping was not that bad. Like the shipping was pretty good. So if I was selling a product for like $20, I was pretty much getting it for like, you could say $10 from, from dropship agents. And the shipping was good. Compare that, for example, if you go on AliExpress and you're trying to fulfill from there, first of all, you're destined to get banned and suspended from Etsy. And second of all, your customers are going to be super mad just because the shipping is taking way too long. And you can pretty much see here. So they're literally comparing dropship agent with AliExpress. For example, if the price was $10, they can come and give it to you for 7.4 and the shipping would be in a week or two. And like I noticed that Etsy people, like when I was doing this much in just literally a week in December, they didn't really come and bother you too much about, hey, where's my freaking package? Is my package going to be delivered or not? So if you can deliver it in seven to at least 12 days, days like you should be good as opposed to freaking like 30 days like i see stores on etsy that have like such bad reviews and it's because they were using aliexpress or like alibaba it's like why would you freaking do that like use an agent like this one where you can literally have an advantage or if you don't have access to this like i would just go on ebay and do it but the disadvantage with ebay is that you're limited by the products for this one you can literally think of it as like you have like a plethora of products all over the internet and you can come and source them and all you got to do is just come here and just click apply now and just fill like literally fill all this out like it's, it's not that hard just fill everything out here and then submit. And then once you get in contact with them, you should be able to like literally have the advantage on Etsy and sell even more products on Etsy. So for example, if you think about it, if you, if this was your store right here and you made 26,000 uh, sales in like in, in your total Etsy career, you would have to be literally shipping 26,000 orders. But if you just have like an agent like Dropship Agent, they can literally do all that for you. And then all you have to do is just focus on getting the sales and putting even more products on your Etsy store. And then that's it, you should be good. So this is how I would fulfill the orders on Etsy. I would either use an agent like Dropship Agent or I would use eBay, but both have advantages and disadvantages. And the disadvantage with this one is that this one can come in seven to 14 days as opposed to eBay, which is like four to six days. But the advantage with this one is, you, is that you can have even more products. And from my experience, I told you that Etsy customers, they don't really mind if it's taking like seven days or 12 days. So this is the fulfilling part. Now, let's just say you do want to add the product. Like you, you literally chose this product and you want to add it. Like, how would you add it? So you can pretty much go on eBay, even if you're going to be using dropship agent, you can pretty much go on eBay and you can just take the picture here and just take the same title here and then add it to Etsy like you could literally do that or what you can do is that you can go on Pinterest and you can type in something like custom neon sign and then if you scroll down you can just see a product here that looks very similar to your product and then what you could do is that you can just click on it and then take it and then put it on your store now what's funny is that all of these listings right here they are from Etsy so you want to pick a listing that's not from Etsy the whole point is that you don't want to come and then get literally a picture that another Etsy seller has because I think when you do that like you are vulnerable to getting banned and suspended so you want to find a picture that's not on Etsy before that looks very similar to the product that you want to sell and then come and then use that picture okay so now we're going to be reaching a bit of a black hat tactic thing that you can use if you want or if you don't want to use just don't use it I'm not saying you should use this but if you want you can do it now look so this was one of the products that i was selling here so it's the casual sneakers it looks just like this i told you this product is good and i and i did sell it and it was getting good sales when you're selling this for example you want to add the pictures like this so for me these pictures i added them they were pretty much similar to the other sellers on etsy but at the time like i didn't know better that's the thing you want to make sure like this is like the thumbnail for the first picture is good now i'm going to share with you a bit of a black hat tactic which is if you look right here you can see there is something like this it's like what the heck is this? Bella Porsche gave like a testimonial on Twitter about these same shoes? <laughs> so look, this is a bit of a black hat tactic. I only used this once. I didn't want to use this like too much, but this increased conversions by so much, bro. Like so much <laughs> but what you do here is that you see how like this is literally a picture of like a testimonial maybe when for this product i went a bit overboard by using bella porch but this is what you do you go on this website called tweet gen and by the way bro like all the pros they they use this i'm just showing you what the pros use like i'm not showing you like stuff and telling you like this is what you need to be doing i'm just showing you what the pros use and then when i use what the pros used i noticed that well it works and it works for a reason. But you see this website right here is called TweetGen. All you gotta do is just click on tweet right here and then basically compose a tweet. So you can just put an image, you can put like a name and all that stuff and then put the tweet and that's it. So it's literally gonna look like a celebrity gave a review on your product and then you just have it as like listed right here so could, can you just imagine how much credibility that's going to add to your store once again i don't recommend this if you don't feel comfortable doing this but i'm just showing you this is literally one of the tactics that i used when i was making a projected twelve thousand dollars monthly with just literally one store i wouldn't want to go overboard and just use like someone like bella porsche just because i mean i don't know this, you might get in trouble when you do when you do that but you can you can even use like a micro influencer someone that people know but it's not like super famous now 
Listen, bro, like, I strongly believe this isn't the reason why I got banned. Like, I know for sure the reason why I got banned was because I added a copyrighted product from my friend's store when I was making it. I literally just added it as a placeholder. But that store still got banned, and because it's connected to the same IP as my other two stores, that's why it got banned. But at the time when I was doing this, like, everything else was fine. Like, the store, the, sh the orders were being shipped, the customers were happy and all that stuff. It's unfortunate that it got banned. But anyway, so you go down. I did mention that you want to add a video. For this one, I didn't really have a video, but you want to do find a video and add it. For the title, again, I just called it something like this. And you want to add like as many SEO words as possible. So for the listing, I said I made it and then it's a finished product from 2020 to 2023. It's sneakers and athletics. You want to add almost like everything here. So for example, you want to add like the categories. You want to say that you're offering more than one color. And like, for example, this stuff right here, the occasion, I didn't really add it, but I should have added these. Yeah, like I feel like if I added these, I would have gotten more sales because my Etsy listing would have been showing into more searches. And then right here, like I, you could see, I didn't even pretty much do any work for the description. I just put the description as whatever another Etsy seller had it as, and then I just copied and pasted it just like that. And then for the tags, you want to basically like fill all this out. I should have filled it out because I have five left, but I didn't, but you want to fill all of it out. And then we go down so you could see, I pretty much sold it for this much. I think it was actually higher. I don't know why I went down, but I think this was definitely higher. And these are the variations that we had. And then for the shipping, I did have the United States one to three business days. And then uh, everywhere else was like $12 extra. Now I didn't have the priority insured shipping, which I should have had. All you got to do is just put add delivery upgrade and just have like an upgrade where people can pay more, where it's just a bit more profit for your pocket. And you just call it priority insured shipping. It's literally pretty much the same thing, but it's just more profit in your pocket. So it's just like a little tip. And then, yeah, then you keep going and you just, and you just submit it and that's it. Like nothing is really complicated about putting the product. You just want to find good products. Once again, I do have a Google doc about the best niches to pick right now on Etsy. So if you're going to start on Etsy, like you could pretty much do that. And once again, bro, like this was literally done with zero dollars. Like the only thing you could say is that when you're adding products, you do have to pay 20 cents to add every product, but that 20 cents gets taken after you get sales. So once you get a sale, they will deduct 20 cents from that. So bro, like this was all started with zero dollars. Now, one last thing I did show you that this right here is the winning product that you can come and take. I just want to show you more products. Like I literally found this product like just randomly. I wasn't like, I didn't really script this or try to come and do this ahead of time and find products and then show you like a bunch of winning products and all that, and all that stuff. So what I want to do is I want to like go back once again here and I want to do like more live product research so that you can actually see what's my thought process when I'm trying to find products like these and products that are actually winners so that you can come and literally replicate it. Because with repetition, when you see it, you're able to like actually go and do it. So for example, we did click on uh, wall decor. So we can just come down and maybe click on clocks. So basically we just go down. We just want to see, like for example, this one right here, you could see it has like 1000 reviews. $83, which is not that bad, Canadian. And this is an ad. Plus the product looks pretty unique. So if I just click on it and then I click on the actual seller, so I could see these people have 5,000 sales. Now you can't really click on their sales to see what are the actual products that are being sold, which is fine. But then we go down, we could see it has 109 uh, products for 5,000 sales. So I would just go down all the way and I want to see like, when did they start selling? So I would go on the last review. So September, 2021. So then we would do the same thing. So if I'm looking at all their products, I could see it's like 83, 83, 83, 83. Okay, so let's just say $80, pull out a calculator and I would do $80 times 5,000, which is the amount of sales that they got right here. And I would click yes. And then so you could see $400,000. So I do divided by two and you could say that they've been making $200,000 in revenue every single year, which is not that bad. So then if you do like, you could say 30%, once again, they've been making $60,000 per year in just pure profit. And you could see like this store has less sales than the other store, but the product price is a lot higher. Now you could say maybe this this is a bit hard to, to source, but then we don't know. Like, let's just go on eBay, for example. And then we say minimalist large wall clock. So then we go down, we go down. You just want to find like a product that's very similar to it. And to be honest, I couldn't really find the exact product. But for example, the idea is the same. So you see how, for example, this one, it's a large wall clock that looks pretty cool. So you would click on it and then you just want to see like it is shipping from the US, which is pretty good. But yeah, so the exact product I couldn't find. If, and if I couldn't find it, it's fine. So I would just go back, for example, I would go back and I would click on it. What I could do is that I could right click on this and then copy image and then go on, for example, Google and then go here and paste the link right here. Just because I want to see like where are they actually getting the, the product from? if they are dropshipping it. So it seems to me that these people are not actually like fully, fully dropshipping it, which is pretty good. Like, that's not bad. Like, bro, this is what I used to do every single time. So then what I would do at this point is I'd be like, okay, well, I couldn't really find it. So what I would just do, I would go back here. So after you fill out all this stuff right here, I would just go back and I would contact them. Like I would just literally contact dropship agent. I would send them a picture and I would be like, listen, brother, can you please find me this product, like this exact product from China, if you can do it. And then if you can find it, I would go and like start selling it because why not? Like I can already see that these people are, are getting sales. So if I can come and then sell the exact same product, I will start getting sales. Like you could just pretty much put your shoes in the shoes of these people or put your feet in the shoes of these people and just be like, I'm the one that owns the store. And if I'm the one that owns the store, what would I do to like, you could say scale up for example. And one way to do it is, and by the way, like one way to actually scale 
is you just have like multiple listings. So then you would just come and do it on your own store. Like you would make a store similar to this and you would have these products on the store and then you, you would just list them and that's it. So like another scaling method you could say is that you could come and then add pretty much one product a day. Like you wouldn't miss a single day of adding one product a day because that way any product you add is going to be coming on the on the Etsy search engine and it's going to start ranking. Even, even if it's the same product as this. Like if you could just have one product right here, have different titles and then have different images. So for example, this image you would put as the first image or like this image right here, you would put as the first image or like this image right here, you would put as the first image. So you would just come and put multiple images of the same product. And, th and that's literally one way to scale. And then once you have like an actual way to actually source this product, then that's it. You're golden, bro. You can come and like freaking make $60,000 a year just by doing nothing and just adding one product a day while Dropship Agent is handling all your fulfillment for you. Now, another black hat method that you can do that you can actually increase conversions with is for example, you see if we go down right here and then we see like this stuff here. Now, these people didn't actually go and do it, but if I was them I would pretty much come and do it <laughs> by the way these people show you exactly that they're from China which is so funny like you can and we found the exact product here the neon lights from from China but you want to come and you want to add like faces here let me see a store that has this yeah like for example this store right here so it says shop members I don't know why these people are being, are being such dum-dums I think they're adding like the actual the actual people that work on this store but like look you can pretty much add pictures here a picture here a picture here you can come and just be like this guy is the owner this guy's like the designer or the maker this guy handles the customer support and then what you can do is just go on pixels and just type for example girl and you see like there's a bunch of girls here like for example you could take the, the uh, this girl's face or you can come down and you can for example take i don't know just any freaking random girl's face like this girl's face you can come and take her face or even like this girl's face or you can even go on unsplash and then just search up girl and then you can come and take any of these girls faces that make sense to take because these people you can pretty much take their faces it's fine they're they're giving you the permission you can come and then just put it here. You can put it right here. And that's like, that's who is behind this store. Now, obviously they're not behind the store, but this is just going to give like a nice branding element of your store to make it seem like people are actually truly behind this and you're going to be getting more sales. And then you can come and like add a picture like this, like the way they did it. So I like the way they did it. It seems like it's actually good. And then you can add like a proper description here. So people are actually drawn to buying stuff from your exact store. Cause this for you, like this right here is you're just making it seem like the store is actually handmade. Now keep in mind also one little thing about adding products. You don't want to come and add a product that for example, that for example, looks like this. So you see this product right here is just a picture of the product on a white background and then whatever this is right here. Like you don't want to come and do stuff like that. Etsy freaking hates stuff like that. Etsy wants like lifestyle images. Like this right here is a lifestyle image. This stuff right here is all lifestyle images. This right here is all lifestyle images. You want to come and do stuff like that. You don't want to come and like, act like super super professional with like a white background and all that crap you want to come and like just have everything seem like it's authentic it's it's lifestyle related and stuff like that not like oh like i'm corporation and i'm so freaking professional and i have like a white background and all that stuff you don't want to do stuff like that you want to make it seem like it's actually handmade and then you can pretty much do more research bro for example this product right here i don't know why i feel like i should click on it so i click on it and then you can click on the actual store so these people i think they're actually like like they're actually hand making everything which is crazy like this is this is your competition here bro like these people are actually hand making everything so then if you just come and then have the same look as them but you're able to fulfill it where it's literally like unlimited for you to fulfill and to ship everything you're gonna be destroying these people and this is why this is why i'm making this video bro like there's so much opportunity on on etsy right now that these people are not marketers, but like you, you should be an advanced marketer. You're watching my channel, bro. You should be advanced. I just showed you literally all the tactics that like the pros use. So if you come and you implement all this stuff, you're going to be golden, bro. So then all you got to do every single day is just come and then like do more product research, add one product a day. Make sure you actually add one product a day. Try not to add more because I feel like Etsy does like find you suspicious when you add more products every single day. So one product a day should be enough, but like make sure bro, like every single day you would come here and then click on all this stuff, come here and then click on, click on all this stuff right here and just do a bunch of research. Also what you can do is for example, you can go on eBay, just like we talked about and you can work backwards. Let's just go to home improvements and then we just, we, we scroll down. By the way, make sure you don't sell things like electronics or like just stuff like this. Make sure you don't sell stuff like this because Etsy is not really known for that. So let's, let's just say I'm going to click on chairs. So then this, for example, right here. So I had to like freaking really search for this. So what I just did, I just went on, I went on eBay and I just typed in chairs for a living room and just kept scrolling, kept scrolling, kept scrolling. And then eventually I found, uh, I believe this thing right here. Then I clicked on their store. So you can see pretty much they have 18,000 sales, which is not that bad. It's actually very good on eBay. And then you can see their, their products are all lifestyle images which is very good. So this is a lifestyle image, lifestyle image. So if you go and do research on Etsy and then when you see that people are actually buying this stuff, like for example, this thing right here, you just click on it and then take all the pictures here and then put it on Etsy and just increase the price a little bit, like maybe two exit or three exit. And then just brand it as your own because it's like, who who is the brand behind this? 
you don't know who's, who the brand is behind this. Like, it's not like a branded product where you can't really come and sell it. Like, this one is just a brandless product that looks very nice. Plus, like, you, you know that this exact product sells very well just because this store right here has 18,000 items sold, which is, like, it's freaking insane. And that's, that's the method. Like, that's literally the method. Like, if you're thinking that there are secrets behind Etsy and how to freaking do Etsy properly and all that stuff, these are the secrets. Remember, this was done in like a week or two, and I had another store that was doing $4,000 at the same time as this store. So, bro, Etsy, Etsy is insane. And I truly want you to take advantage of this. Like, I literally just spilled, you could say, spilled the tea on, on all of Etsy. Spilled the tea on Etsy! <laughs> now, I did have other tips on Etsy, on how to actually increase your Etsy. Some of them are a bit black hat but I shared them in another video, so I didn't want to come and then repeat myself once again. So if you want to see that video, all you got to do is just click right here so you can see some more tips on Etsy and how to succeed more on Etsy. But this video right here should literally be enough for you, bro, to at least come and like make at least, bro, at least $2,000 a month, like at least. 